Hello, hello, friends from Keeping Manzanero Alive. Today I will be sharing with you one of my favorite comfort food recipes, chiles rellenos. This dish is not only delicious, but it brings back wonderful memories of special occasions shared with my family. Since this dish requires various se steps, it's not a dish my mom would make often. Therefore, when she did, it would bring the whole family together. Chiles rellenos is a typical Mexican dish that has various variations all of which are delicious. But today I will share with you how to prepare the chiles rellenos the way my mom would typically prepare them. The following are the ingredients that you will need for this recipe. Um, you will need half a cup of flour, poblano peppers. Poblano peppers are less um, spicy than jalapenos, but spicier than bell peppers. You will also need two to four eggs, uh, queso fresco, half an onion, two cloves of garlic, one um, to two bay leaves, dried oregano, three Roma tomatoes, salt and pepper, and nor bouillon. I also forgot to mention that you will need vegetable oil for frying. The first step that you need to do with the poblano chiles is you're going to need to char them. Um, you can do that on the broiler or I prefer to do it on the stove top. It's just easier and I can have multiple burners running at the same time. You want to make sure that you char bo both sides of the pepper as you can see here. And then once you're done, uh, you can place it in a bag. You can use a paper bag. Uh, I happen to have a Ziploc handy, so I'm gonna go ahead and do The main that. reason for putting them in a bag is so that they steam a bit and so that it allows the char um, to come off easier when you peel them. While the chiles are steaming, we're gonna go ahead and start our sauce. Um, what I do is I put a piece of foil on my comal or you can put it on your pan. Um, I go ahead and I put um, a non-stick spray on it and then I go ahead and I put my, uh, I'm gonna put there my tomatoes, my garlic and my onion for it to roast. Uh, and I'm gonna get started on the sauce while the chile rellenos, the poblano chiles, I mean, um, go ahead and steam and I peel them. So uh, you wanna make sure that uh, you put all the items there and that you turn them around as they roast. Uh, you do want that little charness to come in, come through, through the sauce. Um, afterwards, what you do is uh, you can choose to peel them, um, the tomatoes. Uh, I tend not to um, do that. Some people do, but um, I, I like that little charness, the flavor that it gives the sauce. So uh, once they're done, you're going to put them in the blender and you're going to go ahead and blend them. Uh, after you blend them, uh, you're going to get a pan and you're going to put a little bit of olive oil, the two bay leaves, and then you're going to add uh, your blended tomatoes. Um, I forgot to mention, I also added um, a bit of water to make the sauce a little bit more liquidy. And as you can see, we're going to pour it into the pan slow motion here <laughs> and um, it, it might get a little messy but um, it's all worth it and then uh, I'm going to season it with uh, salt and pepper and then as you can see right now I'm adding the nor bouillon and then I'm going to go ahead and stir it and I'm going to allow the sauce to simmer as I continue uh, working with my chiles and the following steps so you make sure you stir it and then you keep an eye on it uh, once it boils just keep it at a very low simmer um, I'm also going to add a little bit of oregano for flavoring it's going to add that little extra touch uh, stir it a bit and like I said once it's boiling like you see it here uh, keep it at a low now with the peppers you're going to remove all the charred pieces and then you're going to cut a slit in it to remove all the extra seeds that's where most of the heat is uh, I use a little bit of water to help me uh, clean it, clean them up, and then after I'm done cleaning them up, I put them in a paper towel to dry, and I make sure that it's um, all dried up because we're going to fry them, and you don't want uh, the oil, the hot oil, mixing with any extra liquid that might be in, in the in the peppers. Now we're going to take the queso fresco. As you can see here, I've cut it into slices, and then I'm gonna. Um, so we're gonna stuff the poblanos with this cheese. Cheese. 
Um, some people use other cheeses, so feel free if you have Monterey Jack. Um, some people use um, Manchego or Quesillo or Queso Oaxaca, which is the same. Now, sometimes you will need to use a toothpick. Uh, for this one in particular, I don't need a toothpick. Uh, I, the opening it wasn't that large. And then what you do is you dust it with flour. And then you shake off the excess flour and you put it aside and you're going to continue that process with your other chiles okay now i'm going to take my egg whites i decided to use four eggs for uh, one egg per um per chile um pepper and uh once you have it at soft peaks i go ahead and i add the salt i add some black pepper and I start also including the yolks that I had saved and put aside. And you're going to combine it and it's going to turn this light um, yellow color to, um, it's going to make the egg whites turn a little yellow, which is fine. That's what you want. So the texture should be soft peaks. Um, then what you do is you insert your chile and the flour is going to allow that coating of egg to stick and then you should have a hot frying pan ready to go and you're going to go ahead and add that um, and while the sauce is on the side then the tricky part is flipping the chile relleno and there you are you're going to flip it um, I'm going to put a little oil on the side to make sure that that egg on the side gets cooked and goes nice and golden brown throughout and then once it's ready you're going to put it in a plate that, uh, with a paper towel to drain the extra excess oil and you follow the same process with your rest of your chiles so I will observe a lot of oil this is um, not a low calorie dish as most Mexican dishes aren't. Now once I have it, m many people like it dry, but I like it in the tomato sauce and I actually go and completely immerse it. Some people also just ladle the sauce on top of the chile. I like immersing it just to make sure that the cheese fully melts. And then once it's ready that it's I've been there for a couple minutes, um, what I go I, I go ahead and I serve it and I plate it. And I add a little bit more sauce on the top. And I typically serve it with um, a white rice with veggies. There you go. And there you have it. You have um, your chiles rellenos. I'm just going to garnish it with some mint. And here you have it. Chiles rellenos.